Hi guys, my name is Rachel Rolston and welcome back to my channel, The Painted Zebra. Today, I am doing the first in a video series of my 2019 favourites. This will be mostly makeup products, but I think I will also do videos that include like my favourite journaling products and things like that that I enjoy doing. So today is going to be my favourite face products. So these are primers, foundations, concealers and powders that I have used a lot over 2019 and that I really enjoy. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX um, Primer. I find that it really makes my face feel hydrated. It's got coconut water, probiotic based ingredients and skin revivers. It's um, silicone free and I find that this really makes my skin feel nice and refreshed and it helps on days when I'm really tired. The other product is the Colourpop All Star Matte and Blur Primer. Now this primer I feel really like mattifies and blurs this sort of area and I really enjoy using it. I find that it makes um, my skin feel really smooth and I just enjoy it and it makes my foundation last all day. The next section is like tinted moisturizers and BB cream. The first one's pretty new to me but it is one of my favorite products so I think I am going to include it. It's the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I've got mine in light 6W and I find that this really just, it, it evens the skin tone. It's not as heavy as a BB cream. It's just like a great thing for every day. Even like if you're just around the house and want something on your face like to even it out but you don't really want like a heavy foundation or BB cream. I really enjoy this. I think it will be great when I go to broom and I'm traveling. I think I'll use it a lot then. Um, I like that it's got like a little pump top. Don't know if you can quite see that but it's like a little pump. So you pump it out instead of like pouring it out or squeezing it out. I really enjoy that. Next is the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. I really enjoy this. I use this pretty much um, as a light foundation. I find it does have quite good coverage for a BB cream and it really makes my skin feel good and I enjoy wearing it on days where I'm just like going to doctor's appointments or the shops or something and I don't want anything heavy. Next I didn't really know what category to put this in. It says it's selfie skin 2 in 1 foundation and concealer. I use it more as a foundation and I really enjoy it. It's almost like a BB cream consistency with a heavy, um, with a like more of a heavier foundation coverage. And I find that I really love this. Like if I had to use um, one product for every day and going out, this would probably be the product that I'd use. And I really enjoy it. It's from Mecca Max. Mecca Max and it's the Selfie Skin 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Next is foundations. I have the Australis Stay Put Longwear Foundation. Now this is just your typical foundation. I find that it covers quite well. It's got like a little pump top. Um, it um, has like a nice finish to it. It doesn't make my skin feel too dry. It's meant to last up to 16 hours. I've never worn it for 16 hours, but I do really enjoy it and find that it um, it lasts for as long as I need it to. So it also has SPF 15, so I probably wouldn't recommend wearing this if you were having a photo shoot done, but for every day, it's a great product. The other thing I have is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation. I've used this for a few years now and it's just a product that I keep going back to. Like it just, it, it makes my skin look really nice, it's got a nice finish, it's not too drying, it lasts. So this is just an all around good product and I don't really know how much more I can say about it. It's just something that I really enjoy and that I go back to even after I've used different foundations for a period of time. Next for concealers, I have the Colourpop No Filter Concealer, which is pretty much what I wear every day. It's great. I find that it um, mattifies under my eyes and makes it 
look nice it doesn't um, look too like it doesn't crease or look too dry I really enjoy using that on an everyday basis and I um, yeah if I had to choose one I'd choose that but some days I use the um, Maybelline master conceal I find that this is a little bit more hydrating um, if my under eyes are really dry but I don't find that the ColourPop one's too drying so I use this occasionally um, it's like my second favorite concealer like if I couldn't use the ColourPop one I definitely use this one um, but if I had to choose one I would tell you to get the ColourPop one but I, it's a great drugstore concealer that I think most people can find anywhere and if I couldn't order from ColourPop that's definitely the concealer that I, I would use Next is powders. I've got the Colourpop No Filter Sheer Press Powder in Light. I've used quite a bit of this, but it doesn't really even look like I've used that much because you don't need an awful lot. So I've had this for quite a while and I use it most days. I just like sort of brush it all over my face and I find that it mattifies my face without making it look drying. And it just holds my makeup together really well, especially in the T-zone. And another foundation, uh, another powder that I think is comparable to that is the Australis Fresh and Flawless. So it's a pressed powder. You can see how much I've used this. This is like my fourth pan of it. I really love this one. I use it um, quite often, and um, I if I I want to do an uh, Australis like one brand tutorial, so I would definitely use this. I find that both of those powders are pretty much comparable to each other so it just depends on the day which one I use but I really can pick no fault with either of them. So that is the face products of 2019 that I have really enjoyed. If you could leave below any um, face products that you've used during 2019 that you've really enjoyed I would love to hear from you and I will chat to you soon. Bye!